Wow. Um, hang on, I need a minute. But we don't have time for a minute. We're going to get back into it because we're professionals. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Chain Reactions. Uh, just about to check out XG Winter Without You on first take. I reacted to Shooting Star on first take. I've reacted to Winter Without You, the MV. You can go and check those out. Looking forward to seeing them with these uh, super high quality microphones. I think they look great from the promo pictures. Let's get into it. I'm like nervous. <laughs> Yo, they look adorable. Looking like Barbie. Ooh, that hair. Be home for 
Wow. Um, hang on, I need a minute. But we don't have time for a minute. We're going to get back into it because we're professionals. Um, so I had a strong feeling that uh, seeing that song live was going to have a pretty dramatic effect. Uh, <laughs> And it did. Um, I personally don't care about the holidays, but I know that they do, and I know that a lot of alphas do. Um, so you know, that's it's just um, it's just a lot, and uh, I hope that they get to celebrate and rest and relax. I know they've been doing so much, um, and there's more coming, and uh, hopefully that's all been pre recorded and pre-prepared uh, and stuff because they really deserve uh, to be able to rest and do what they want for a little while. Uh, they've given us so much of their time and their energy. Um, I really hope that they get to uh, just recuperate and relax and rest. Um, it's no secret that these this industry um, really wears people down. Um, and as you know, if you've been watching my channel, I am very very proud and very invested in this group and i feel very protective over them even though i don't know them uh and i really really don't want to see them go through some of the things that members of other groups are going through or have gone through as far as being worn down and broken down um and tired and and needing to step away and stuff like that so very, very uh, emotional, I guess. Uh, but I also know a lot of alphas relate to this. A lot of people are away from home. A lot of people don't get to see their families. Um, so I know this speaks to a lot of, of other people who are really invested and really inspired by this group. So, um, I mean, this is just such a, a powerful um, moment for them in music, the music video, the way that they delivered this, the, what it means for them and for other people. Uh, I'm going to replay it and go back, but you could even tell from the music video that they were feeling this. Um, you could tell here that they were feeling it, that it's not acting, it's not production. Um, they're really they're really behind what they're saying here. Uh, they really feel it. It's really coming from the soul and coming from the heart, and I think that's why it touches so many people. Um, I think that's what makes it beautiful, and that's what makes music beautiful. So uh, I'm going to run it back, uh, and then we'll kind of pause and break it down as we go through. But they all do look... I, Jiren's hair has looked amazing, and they all look fantastic. They all look super, super adorable. <laughs> They're like different versions of winter holiday Barbie. You can see them getting in the zone. This is the part of the music video where Chisa's like silently mouthing something. There's no singing or anything right here, but they're getting in that zone, they're feeling it. She sets the stage with this right here that brings us into it. And then Jerry is smooth, smooth, smooth vocals to bring us into the song. Um, her and Chisa play off each other extremely well in the song, and then there's a new level brought in with Hinata really uh, stepping up her game and having a larger role, I think, or at least a more prominent role uh, in what they do that really just makes this such a vocal masterpiece, I think, that that vocal line just shines so incredibly well. And then there's obviously Maya, who just comes out of nowhere uh, and just drops a bomb. So, um, but Chisa, uh, in, it comes in after this, but it's it's more powerful because of the way that Juria leads us into it. See, that is, is powerful. She comes in here and she hits you hard and it works so well because of the way that Juria led us into it. She slowly brought us to the point where we were ready to hear what she throws out. If I could make a wish, But there's something that I can't change. 
And then that note right there for Hinata to bring what she brings to that, it seals it all up. We, we get led in nicely by Juria. Chisa hits us where we needed to be. And then Hinata is the reason why we come out of that ready for the next part of the song. this da 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 that's that 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 talent that harvey brings where there's almost a melodic style to her flow to her delivery that helps her be the bridge to complement i think uh jurin and kokona and maya when they're rapping and that's also something that can't be overlooked because it really does uh, elevate the rap line too I don't know why. <laughs> Every time. <sighs> if you've watched my other videos, um, you know that I love Maya. I, um, I hype Maya up all the time. I felt like from the beginning she, she didn't get the recognition that I thought that she deserved uh, as far as what she brings to the rap part of the of the group. Um, if you watched, I think it was the XG tapes when they're in the school bus, I said that Maya was super underrated in the cypher. Um, she was underrated in the tapes. She's always been underrated. I think that she elevated her rap game in New Dance with that verse. Uh, in TGIF, she destroys that verse. Um, she has elevated to a, to a really, really impressive level there. Then she can dance, of course, and I haven't seen the documentary series, but I think that people said that that was even something that she wasn't great at at the beginning, so she's elevated that too, apparently. And then with these vocals, every time she does this, it just... I just, uh... I don't really know what to say. I just want everybody to know... <laughs> how important Maya is for this group and, and for what they do and how talented she is. Uh, the word ace gets thrown around a lot, but she really is. Um, you know, the say, we're gonna be honest here, okay? I don't, everybody's gonna talk, whatever. Chisa and Juria, they bring incredible vocal range and power in a way that nobody else does. I think Jern and Kokona bring rapping in a level that nobody else does. I think that Hinata and Harvey bridge and complement and connect and glue in a way that nobody else does. Uh, and I think that Maya does everything. She is the bridge. She is the connection between the rap and the vocals. She is the one that she can take the center during the choreo. She can destroy a verse rapping. She can break your heart with a vocal note. Um, and she sells it. Uh, she has the she has the the charisma. She has the aura. She has the vibe. Um, she does. She may not rap quite as hard as Kokona. She may not have some of the technical stuff that Jern has. She may not be able to sing uh, quite the same way that Hinata and Chisa and Juria can. But nobody can do all of the things that Maya does the way that she does as well as she does. And I just can't imagine what this group would be like without having that. God damn. We'll sit by the fire holding hands. Sweet smell of sugar and spice for seven simple like the season you was gone with the wind fall went a spring back around with my da 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 Yo, Jaren is a she is a technical rapper. She's not old enough to know old school, but she's like twenty two or twenty one or something like that. Like she wasn't even alive when people were rapping this way, but she is doing it and she is selling it and she is living it.
please play. I don't have time for this. Remember we will sit by the fire holding hands. Sweet smell of sugar and spice for seven simple like the season you was gone with the wind. Fall went a spring back around with my December blues. I've been feeling again. So listen, I really want to know what we went wrong. I want to know if you would hear this song. And if I could turn back the time, you'll be in my arms again. But there's some things that I can't change. Ooh, my goddamn. And then Kokona also, she does something a little differently. She's bringing in a little bit more vocal and a little more melody to uh, the verse that she would normally bring in. Um, we know she can sing. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, uh, you'll, you'll see in, I think, New Dance, I talk about that nobody talks enough about Kokona singing, um, bringing the vocals to complement the song and the group. Uh, and then here she does it coming out of a rap verse, which is something that Harvey does really well that makes this group special. Um, and Kokona is also showing that she can also do a little bit of uh, a little bit of something special on top of what we already know her for. And then that note that Maya hits right there, I mean. We're in my arms again, but there's some things that I can't change. So mm. love, Kill it, Hinata. just that whole section right there just absolutely beautiful that part right there really underscores god damn I'm going That part right there really underscores the power of Juria and the importance of Hinata, where Juria is putting her heart into audio form. She is she is soul singing into that microphone, and it's being elevated even more by Hinata providing exactly the kind of support and exactly the kind of harmony that it needs to be supported while Juria is doing that that Hinata keeps it where it needs to be to still be part of the song as opposed to it coming across like Juria just kind of going rogue and having her own moment and stealing the scene or something like that Hinata being there keeps it as a part of the unit um, and that it, it keeps you from being detached from the rest of the song it's just it's just a layer on top of what masterpiece we're already hearing <laughs> And Hinata right there, give her her flowers for that part right there. It's a short part. That's an important part. Without that part, that build up, when when Chisa needs to breathe, um, there could be a pause, there could be a gap, there could be a chance where you're taken out of what they've built up, but Hinata holds it there. She keeps it up. She's holding that roof above her head while the rest of the group catches up and kind of gets into their vocal positions. And you cannot, you cannot do what they're doing without what Hinata is doing here. Every moment, 
nobody else to run to Believing it like it's true That you will come to rescue I'm Mary miss you Now tell, tell me how How am I supposed to go without you? play that one back again um the way that they play off each other there the vocal line um is just absolute art um that is how they are able to deliver what they're delivering at the level they're delivering it live and in one take because if it was just one vocalist um they would need to have some sort of something in the background or they would need to have somebody who wasn't as strong to do something else where they would normally layer the same vocals but here they don't need to they not only have the two people who are known for being able to do that but then they also have hinata who it also comes in and just kills it. She's, she stops playing a supporting role for a minute and she just becomes one of the three people who's just delivering something for you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Playing off each other. Not supporting right there. She was one of three right then. You'll notice earlier she's doing a little bit of the ad libbing. She's doing a little bit of the supporting. She's doing a little bit of the background stuff. But here they literally take turns in the moment delivering the vocals. No one would think, oh, this girl, she's supporting right there. No, you would have been like, that's a vocalist, yes. And also, the way that the way that Chisa shows that vocal control, that's something that Jury is normally very, very good at, is having that control. Um, whereas Chisa's really good at maybe like the belting and having that volume and having that power. Uh, but here she also does show a little bit of that control that um, she can kind of... Uh, lead us at the fade out uh, of the song that is in the music video which is super old school they do it here without you know the production and stuff she just does it with her vocals which is obviously just artistry yes I mean, we already knew, but amazing. <sighs> this video was a mess, uh, <laughs> uh, but we need to protect them. Um, we need to support them and hope that they are uh, getting the rest and the recovery and the care, the self-care, the family time, the downtime that they need. Um, I know that we're all greedy. I know we all want endless content, more songs, more albums, go on shows, do the the fil the vlogs, all that stuff, but what we really need to think about is their longevity. Um, they have the talent to be around for a very long time, uh, and I hope that they don't rush that. I hope that they give them time, that they slow it down. I hope that they are able to recover so that they can go 100%, 110%, like they always do when the time is right. They have a world tour coming up, and... 
they haven't done that before. World tours are devastating uh, to people emotionally, mentally, physically. Um, the choreography, the traveling, the stress, the sleep, um, the jet lag. So I really hope they get time uh, before that happens. Um, I really hope that they're able to just live in the moment and really enjoy that as opposed to having to push through and, and struggle. They're going to be tired at the end. Um, so I really hope that they're playing the long game well. I'm sure the management team knows what they're doing, but you would also think that about a lot of these other uh, groups out here, um, and they don't. Um, they wear their people out. So um, I think we should all, as alphas, be mindful of that. We should all keep an eye on that. We should all try our, but it's our jobs to care about that. So um, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you thought I missed something here. Let me know if you know something about the World Tour when the tickets are coming. Um, I know they have like a show or something they're doing or, or something like that, so let me know about that in the comments. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I obviously did did except for the parts where I was breaking down emotionally, uh, but hopefully you enjoyed seeing that at least, so <laughs> uh, let me know what else is coming up, and until next time, stay fresh.